guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Sophia and today I'm back and I'm filming my very first book haul it's crazy to me how I had this channel for like two years and I still have yet to film a book haul but we're solving that problem today I want to show you the books that I got from March from the beginning of the pandemic till now November so there's a lot of books in here but I bought them like throughout a lot of months so I guess makes up for it because I spent a lot of money <laughs> again I'm not uploading this book to make anyone feel bad everyone has their own needs everyone to spend their money however they want and right now books are bringing me joy so I'm really glad I can afford all of these everyone is different everyone has their needs and their ways of spending money before starting if you have bought any new books if you have bought any of the books here please tell me so in the comments or further ado let's go straight into it I divided this book haul in three parts my birthday haul which is books that you haven't yet seen then we have the book Books I bought in the middle of the pandemic and books you have seen in vlogs and then special editions or editions of books I already own that I got and I'm gonna start with my birthday I got like a few books for myself as an own present for me the first book I got is Fable by Adrian Young and I totally got these for the cover. I've seen this book everywhere on Instagram recently and it has one of the prettiest covers I ever seen and the second part of this duology is like the other half of the face which I also like psh, mind blown but I also got it because it's pirate theme and lately I've been reading a lot of sea pirate inspired books like To Kill a Kingdom, Scavenged Stars. I'm really really enjoying the whole pirate vibe. Pirates of the Caribbean has always been one of my favorite movies. A little I know about this book is about this girl called Fable. Her father is this notorious pirate and she gets dropped out in this mystery island where she has to survive on her own. She cannot trust anyone um, and it's quite short so I really cannot wait to pick this up. I hope I can read it before the year ends. The next book I got for myself was Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. <laughs> I cannot tell you the disappointment when I order the soft cover because the hard cover was crazily expensive and this is the soft cover that I got. I hate these kind of covers. It was just, I was so disappointed. The words inside is what's important. The outside is just better realistic. Don't cry, Sophia. Lately, I've been loving standalones. You're gonna see a lot of standalones here because Getting into a series is too much work. Young Adult Fantasy. I'm gonna read it in the back because it's hard to explain on my own words. All sorcerers are evil. Elizabeth has known that as long as she has known anything. Raised as a foundling in one of Austern's great libraries, Elizabeth has grown up among magical grimaries that rattle beneath iron chains, capable of transforming into grotesque monsters. When an act of sabotage releases the library's most dangerous grimory, Elizabeth is accused of treason. Not only could the great libraries go up in flame, but the world along with them. It sounds amazing, it sounds like a magical library theme story, and it sounds like something I will really enjoy. Right now I'm not in a fantasy mood, but I cannot wait to be in like that super fantasy book that I get in sometimes and be able to read this one and it's also not that long. The next book I got was Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Basher Hardest. This. <laughs> this is like battery names is something we do in this channel. Like, are you surprised that I don't know how to pronounce the name? Because I'm not. I basically got this book because it was sold to me as a Snow White meets Frozen. Bah, there you go. I think that's that pretty much explains this book. I don't know much about it, <laughs> to be honest, but that itself was good enough for me to buy the book. I also haven't heard anything about it. Sometimes I want to buy books that no one has really read so I can really make my mind on something brand new and this one is it. <laughs> I know there's also female to female romance in here just a tiny bit. I'm really really enjoying retellings at the moment so I think this is gonna be my next read after I finish my huge pile of books that I'm currently reading. <laughs> the next book I got for myself was The Puppy Wars by R.F. Kuang and this was totally an Instagram bookstagram buy. Everyone has been reading this, everyone has been raving about it, everyone is waiting for the third book to drop out and I'm late to the game but I'm gonna read it because it sounds like something I would enjoy. This is an adult fantasy book. If there's any young readers, this is not for like young adults, like new young adults. It's adults, so be careful. I will link all the trigger warnings in the description below. Read them before buying the book because I can, like, you can tell the vibe of the book when you read the trigger warnings, and it was one of the reasons why I bought it. I think it's gonna be a raw, difficult to read, intense 
sad story and it's gonna be an amazing ride it's about this girl Corinne that surprisingly gets accepted into the best military school in this world but she's a dark-skinned girl a peasant girl and it's not going to be easy for her she discovers she has this love of power and war it's kind of beginning in this world I'm gonna try to read this on my Christmas break I have time and I have time to cry because never right now I'm crying because of university not because of a book <laughs> the next book I got for myself it's Anna K by Jenny Lee and oh my god first the cover gorgeous there's another paperback i will link this one down below because there's another paperback with this cover and i don't really like this cover and then the hardcover that has this one but i didn't want to buy the hardcover because it was expensive and i found this one well it was a mess but i love the cover and i found it on paperback and it's so freaking floppy it's so floppy this is like asmr this is a retelling of Anna Karenina, which I've seen the movie, I haven't read the book. Uh, probably the movie's trash, but I really like that movie. <laughs> and it's about this girl, Anna K, that has everything in her life. She's rich, she has really good grades, she has a boyfriend she has never loved, but hey, she has the perfect boyfriend. And then she met Alexia Count Bronsky. Bronsky, a notorious playboy, but he has never been in love until he meets Anna and maybe she hasn't either So yeah, you can really tell where this is going to go. I do believe there's Asian Asian representation here I do know she growed like shake it up the Disneyland the Disneyland the Disney Channel Series that I've grown up with so I really hope I like this one too. I'm so bad I don't know how people film book calls I don't know what to say about these books because I haven't yet read them. The next book I got was how House of Salt and Sorrow by Erin A. Craig and I basically got this because it was sold to me as a retelling of the 12 Dancing Princesses, my favorite Barbie movie and the superior Barbie movie with Parper, um, the Popper and the Princess I think it's called in English. You can fight with me in the comments but I won't change my mind on that. But this is a young adult retelling dark fantasy book, I think it's a standalone. So it's about these 12 girls that live in the manor by the sea. When the first sister died, everyone thought it was like a tragedy. When the second sister died, everyone thought it was an accident. When the third one died, people were starting to think that this family is cursed. A blog is coming up probably with this one, so yeah. <laughs> The next book I got myself was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson and oh my god, one of my favorite books of this year. This is a young adult murder mystery about this student, Pippa, that decided to make her final high school project in solving the case of a murder that happened five years before where Andy Bell, one of the girls in the town, was murdered by her boyfriend but Pippa has always believed that Salid, this boyfriend, was never the killer and she wants to clean his name and discover who really did it. Such a good book. It really surprised me. There's also a tiny bit of romance between Pippa and the suspected murder boyfriend brother. So I, that was one of my favorite parts. That's why I'm saying. When I heard there was a second part, I was like, how can a murder mystery that it's solved in the same book have another part? But everyone's seems to love it and think that it outdid this one so I really really cannot wait to get that one the last book I got for myself was The Kingdom of Back by Mary Lou Nana Moser has just one wish to be remembered forever but even as she delights audience with her masterful playing she has little hope she will ever become the acclaimed composer she longs to be she's a young woman in 18th century Europe and that means composing is forbidden to her she will perform only until she, she reaches a mar marriageable age. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm trying my best. Prepare to cry. I think it's gonna be emotional, I don't know why. And I hope Mary Lou blows my mind one again and I start reading everything she has put out because I also have to read like War Crows from, from her. I love these paperback too. They are also floppy. The next few books are books that I actually got gifted. I'm really thankful to everyone that got me a book. These first ones are from my sister and she got me the selection series by Kiara Kass. And yes, I've read these, don't worry, I've read these. It's one of my favorite series and the one that always gets me out of reading slump. I actually own all of these, but in paperback and in Spanish, so I really wanted the English hardcovers. So my sister got them for me, thank you so much, Maria. For me, I always say it's like trashy, trashy young adult um, meets the bachelor kind of thing, but with princess. Don't be too critic with them because 
you know, they're just a fun read that I reread every single year because they are really good. Yeah, let, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> There's other two books. We don't talk about those because I didn't like them at all. Um, so yeah, this is a trilogy and that's that's facts. The next book was Gifted to Me by my sister's boyfriend. Thank you so much, Borja. And it's A Ripper at the Gates by Sabata here. This is the third book in the Anemory in the Ashes series. I honestly have stopped reading these books because they changed the cover. I know it's a stupid reason to lose interest in a book and I'm ashamed that I haven't yet read it. I really have to thank Audrey from Luna Book Addict on Instagram because she freaking loves this book and she... I don't know why, like seeing all her reels and all the posts she makes about these just really made me want to read it. One of the best people in cover cover book that I've seen in a long while. The last book for my birthday was actually gifted to me by Mary. Um, she's one of my followers, so hi Mary, thank you so much. I will always thank you uh, for this book. But it's Nick House by Lee Verdugo. This is the first adult novel that Lee Verdugo put out. Mystery, paranormal, dark, setting, jail, university, murder, with secret societies thingy all mashed up here. And honestly, it says impossible to put down by Stephen King. I said this in another video, but that's a flex. I've heard amazing things about it or not amazing things about it. There's like mixed reviews about this one. I studied yesterday and the first few pages that I read, I was so freaking lost. Can we appreciate this hardcover? It's just so pretty. I'm late to the game. This book has been out for a long while now. So the next books you probably have already seen on my blogs, but I wanted to include them because this is your first time watching a video by me and you want like a lengthy book haul to watch because I love watching book hauls that are like super chatty. The first books I actually got this year were the Hot Stopper series by Alice Osman and these are the graphic novels that got me out of a massive reading slump in the beginning of the year. I follow her for the longest times in tapas and um, when I saw she drop these amazing graphic novels. I had to get them. I have to support her. The art is super cute. It's about these two boys that are trying to find like their sexuality or coming out of the closet. And there's also a lot of different topics like anxiety, depression. Again, read the trigger warnings before reading it, but it's such a cute coming of age graphic novels. I really recommend to everyone. And you can read this in like a day. I cannot wait for the next volume to come out. The Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales. And this is the the Harper Designed collection from Harper Collings, and probably you have seen these on Instagram, but these are pop up books, and I think there's like eight or seven of them out and I really want to get all of these and I cannot wait to get Peter Pan. I think Peter Pan is gonna be amazing in like this format. And then just for the cover I got The Mermaid and Mr. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gower. I don't know anything about it. I know it's about this guy that sells his boat for a mermaid. Um, it's historical fiction which I've never read and I don't really know where I'm gonna read this to be honest. I just bought it because it was so pretty. I unboxed this on another vlog, but I got the Lainey Taylor Muse of Nightmares book. This is a first edition, signed edition, only the first 400 books had these pages. I have the first one in the duology, which is Strange to Dreamer, and this one was the first edition, and I really wanted to get this one to match. I spent a lot of money on this cover because it's a rare edition, but I really wanted to have the matching ones, and I was so excited to open it, and now I can finally have the matching set for my favorite book. <laughs> I also got a few editions of The Life of Adela Rue by B. Shrub. You have heard and seen this book everywhere probably already. I collect editions of Victoria Shrub books, so I really had to get these. This is the Forbidden Planet exclusive edition with the blue edges and the blue foil cover. And then Queen from Pages of Queen actually sent me the Waterstones edition because I forgot to pre-order. She was so sweet. She had two copies and she sent me one. So thank you so much, Queen, again. This is the gold edition and the papers look like these. And then in this one, we have Adi and the end papers look like these and they are both signed so and then other editions i got were the young lights by mary lou in hardcover these are one of my favorite young adult novel trilogies and the first ever books i read in english and i have the paperbacks but i really wanted the hardcovers i found them for a super good price on eighth books second hand and i decided to get them so look how pretty they are we have the young lights 
thorough society and my favorite the ring lister if you haven't read these go now i don't know what you're doing on my channel without reading these i'm joking i'm joking and then the last few books i got are books that i already talk about i already made videos about so i'm gonna go super quickly through them the first one is wicked fox by cat Cho. i have a review up i love this one of my favorite books of this year five out of five stars amazing it's a young adult fantasy novel set in seoul korea it, it's just like reading a k-drama i loved it there's romance it was all super character driven which i wasn't expecting um i thought it was gonna be a lot about the fantasy aspect which is about kumijos which are these nine tail fox women that have to feed on the energy of men to survive uh, which is like a korean folk tale like let's be honest i studied it and finished it in like two days because it was so so good so i totally recommend this there's also a second book that i really want to buy um the next book is aurora rising by jake yourself and it's also one of the books that got me out of the reading slump this is a young adult science fiction super easy to read super fast super entertaining one of the best beginnings to a novel that i've ever read it just gets straight into it and it absorbs you like i just wanted to read more and more and more and i actually the face this cover i painted the edges purple they weren't purple <laughs> and i put galaxies on it and i have a whole video on how i did this I will put it here. I think like I'm promoting all my videos. Wicked Sense by Emily A. Duncan, another young adult dark fantasy that I kind of enjoy, kind of didn't. I have to read the second book to really make an opinion on this one. It was a bit messy, magic system was really good, the characters were good, but uh, the ending was a bit messy to me. But I really love that it's about like gods and blood magic. If it sounds like something you will enjoy, I kind of recommend it. I got The Bottom Houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones. This is a young adult paranormal fantasy book and it's about this girl who is a grave digger. The bodies in this town don't stay dead and they like wake up, so it's basically about zombies and it was like reading a movie it was super emotional which i didn't expect i cried a few times like how can you cry with zombie book i did <laughs> and i love this cover it's such an intricate book heartless by marisa mayer which is a book that i wanted to read for the longest time this is a retelling of the queen of hearts it's like a sequel to alice in wonderland and marisa mayer is one of the best retelling writers that i have read the lunar chronicles are amazing and she outdid herself with this one i always always heard how good this book was and how it's it was gonna break my heart and it totally did and the last book gonna be the shadow between us by Tricia Levenseller. Again, I already read this. I loved it. It's super bold. It's a fantasy. Enemies to lovers, if you're looking for that. I know a lot of people love that. <laughs> Honestly, it was just fun, fast. Just the main character is so freaking bold. And I also really enjoyed the whole woman can do anything they want, even in bed. Like I thought it was a series, but it was a standalone, so I'm super happy. <sighs> I spoke for like an hour. I hope this was entertaining. It's my third time filming this video. That's gonna be all for my book haul. I hope you weren't bored. I've been doing this on my last videos and you all seem to like it. If you made it this far in the video, comment the book as that thingy because you know, it's a book haul. And just tell me if you have read any of these, if there's like, if your favorite books is in here or if you have bought any books that you're super excited to read. But that's gonna be it for all for today. As always, I really hope you enjoy it. If you wanna keep up with my reads, I have a few more social media you can add me as a friend on goodreads or follow my reviews i also have a bookstagram where i post daily and i talk with a lot of you there and i think we have like a super great family union in there i just love it as always i really hope you like it if you did please give it a like subscribe comment all the pretty things you can do that really help this channel and family grow we are so close to 1k what the hell <laughs> i love you guys and i will see you on the next video bye